Question number 171. Which of the following is not an example of evolution by anthropogenic action? And the options given are industrial melanism, resistance among microbes, herbicide resistant plant varieties and the last option is small blackbirds on Galapagos islets and the correct answer to this question is option number four small blackbirds on Galapagos islands because Darwin's finches evolved due to adaptive radiation on Galapagos island. Others are example of anthropogenic action. So, these cannot be the correct answer and the correct answer to this question is option number four. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 172. hardy Winberg equilibrium is represented by A and the frequency of homozygous recessive individuals is represented by B. Choose the correct option. Now, hardy Weinberg equilibrium is represented by equation P square plus 2PQ plus Q square. This represents homozygous dominant individuals. This represents heterozygous individuals. And Q square represents homozygous recessive individuals. So, the correct answer for this question is option number 4. P square plus 2PQ plus Q square is the equation. And Q square is the frequency of homozygous recessive individuals. Option number 1, P plus 2PQ plus Q is incorrect and in B is P. This is incorrect option. Second option, P square plus PQ, not 2PQ, plus Q square and B represents Q square is incorrect. Third option is P square plus 2PQ plus Q, not Q square. And B represent P square and not Q square is also an incorrect option. The correct answer is option number 4. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 173. Choose the incorrect statement. The very first statement says, work by Thomas Malthus on populations influenced Darwin. And this is a correct statement, so cannot be a correct answer to our question. The next statement says, Lamarck suggested that evolution is driven by use and disuse of organs. And as it is also a correct statement, this cannot be a correct answer to our question. Next statement says, Mendel talked about inheritable factors which influenced phenotypes of organisms. And as it is also a correct statement, this cannot be a correct answer to our question. The last statement says, Ernst von Bayer suggested that evolution is based on reproductive fitness of individuals. And as it is an incorrect statement, this is a correct answer to our question. Because Ernst von Bayer disapproved the theory of Ernst Haeckel, which stated that certain features during embryonic stage are common to all vertebrates. That may be absent in adult. Reproductive fitness was a concept given by Darwin. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 4. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 174. Human ancestors with cranial capacity less than 600 cc who hunted with stone weapons but essentially ate fruits were and the options are Dryopithecus, Australopithecines, hominids, chimpanzees and the correct answer to this question is option number two Australopithecines. Australopithecines probably lived in East African grasslands and evidence suggested that they ate fruits. So the correct answer is option two. On the other hand hominids is an incorrect option because hominids were first human-like beings Option number four, chimpanzees is incorrect. They were apes. And option number one, Dryopithecus is also an incorrect option. And the correct answer to this question is option number two. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 175, choose the correct match with respect to human ancestor and its cranial capacity. And the options are Homo erectus, 650 to 800 cc. Homo habilis, 650 to 800 cc. Neanderthal man 1650 cc, Cro Magnon man 1400 cc. And the correct answer to this question is option number two Homo habilis 650 to 800 cc. Homo erectus, the 
cranial capacity of Homo erectus is nearly 900 cc. For Homo habilis, as that was a correct match, 650 to 800 cc. For Neanderthal man, 1400 cc. And for Cro Magnon man, 1650 cc. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 2. Let's move on to the next question.